Hello everyone and welcome to a normal run. Dun dun! Oh, my head's a fell off, man! <laughs> I was flicking my head round to do the dun dunning dunning. <laughs> It just absolutely, it just, it just, it just, it just, it just departed from my head. Fortunately, as there is a wire attached to it, I retrieved it like a fishing line. But the, the, the further point is, god damn it! All right, so I, I, I've been missing it. I have. I've been genuinely missing it, and I just, I need it. I need it in my life. I really do. I just need some more normal, just. Fun, and I don't know if it'll be completely normal. I don't know if you guys would prefer something win streaky because that's always fun. I uh, do genuinely miss the Eden streak. That was a sexy murder of that innocent beggar. Oh, as far as murdering innocent beggars go, that was a truly mm, experience. Like as his body exploded. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna finish that, sir. Sir. Sehen and Tunes. Okay, all right. That's um, that's an acceptable um, that's an acceptable item to um get for my first proper air quotes run in ages. Because it's really cool doing Synergy Eleven mod. Of course it is, but I don't know. There's just something obviously just pure about actually doing runs where I can lose, where I'm having to actually play, because one of the things that really inspired this is it startled me just how rusty it actually playing this game I am, because I've gotten so acclimatized to being perpetually mega powerful at all times. I say as I got Epic Fetus as my first item in a greedy mode, but that's not my fault, alright? Them's the swings and roundabouts of the games, alright? That's not on me. That is not on me, but still, it's... It's been uh, something else, and I just, I kind of want to, you know? I kind of want to want to. Then again, I don't know why I'm, I'm like saying this, like, please take me back. Please accept my normal runs. Baby, I've changed. And you can still, you can still watch me. Like, I, I, it's, it's basically like I'm going, here, have more awesome stuff. And I'm like, no, please take my awesome stuff. Why won't you not take my awesome stuff? And I, I don't know what I'm, I, don't, I feel like I'm having a crisis here. Like a, like a mid-run crisis. But that is, uh, okay, let's get ourselves a little bit explodey, explodey going on over there. I also do very much dearly miss... The ooh, oh, you can't not right. There's no way we cannot have a sprinkler epic fetus greedier run. Like that is just absolutely absurd. This just that's <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. If we could get some serious tears going on here, this is suddenly going to be. Amazing. Obviously, the main issue is I need to get myself some kind of immunity to explosions. Otherwise, this is going to keep being quite the issue. But I should be able to make it happen. Stop chasing me. God damn. I know I am very desirable, but you just have to hold it in. You really do. You have to hold it in. You can't just go blurting out your love in public and chasing me down. It, it doesn't work that way. You just get rejected. Sorry, sorry, traumatic past memories there that apparently I'm literally choking on. I am choking on my traumatic memories. I just want to be loved. Alright, so talking of traumatic memories, I actually had a very, very recent awkward experience. So I went to a Halloween party, um, like... A day ago, and uh, it wasn't on actual Halloween because you know I'm way too cool to be doing something on actual Halloween. Like, what do you take me for here? But I went to one, and the theme of the party because it was one where you dress up because it's Halloween. The theme of the party was zombie survival, you know, survivors camp. So everyone needs to look kind of like messed up, like you've been living in a zombie world, and I'm a zombie man. 
in a zombie world. I still know the lyrics to this entire song, even though it's not at all, even slightly manly. It's embarrassing, and I'm so sorry. All right, you can judge me now and judge me everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I guess there might be a, an appreciably good amount of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, I suppose. So that's something. Do I deliberately Judas' shadow? Maybe maybe it was a mistake. I'm going to do it because it'll put me back in the curse room, which will let me grab this and then we gain a load of damage. And I, I am starting to think that perhaps... That was really unnecessary of me because, like, I don't need extra damage. It was just a nice security net for if I died, but, oh, the power is there, right? Like, all right, okay, so a, a, a hugely powerful divine being descends upon you and goes, You, your name inserted here, bellowing forth in a voice most bellowy and goes I will grant you the ability for when you die to walk back the earth once more perfectly healthy and ready to go again an extra life an extra chance at living but when you are reborn into that new life you will acquire godlike powers that will make all tremble before your might at that point, right, do you just kill yourself? Because, like, you could have godlike powers that will make all tremble before your might. Like, trembling before your might is no small feat. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I am... I am experiencing an issue currently whereby I am immediately regretting my choices of... Uh, of going Judas's shadow straight away. In fact, I'm regretting them so hard, I am actually going to have to skip out on the devil deal because there's a good chance it will literally kill me, which will of course result in early sadness for an epic fetus run! Okay, have we got anything good in here? Ooh, potentially Yerra is very, very good. Yerra is very, very good. So we'll go to the next floor. Hopefully there will be something there that can that can help us out, you know, hopefully that will be the case, but until that point, until that point, I mean, I guess, ugh, I can see forever, that's, that's fine, I was a little bit nervous when I pressed that, but that's fine, but I mean, do you kill yourself, let's say you completely believe this, right, do you accept your first life, and knowing that, you know, I will come back as superpower, and that's cool, and, <laughs> oh, I forgot! That it doesn't go away just because you leave the room. I completely and utterly forgot that. Alright, so I want to grab these. Hopefully we get a little bit. We do. And I basically need to get some sort of, well, like, help. Like, I just, I need something defensive here because this is... Absolutely absurd. The one thing I do not need right now is 99 bombs compounded with goddamn infinite bombs. It just seems, it's like giving a billionaire infinite money, right? It's just not necessary. Not that I think the billionaire would complain, I suppose. But still, for the most part, that is crazy. I'm going to get two hearts. That should be enough to do the floor, and then I'm gonna obviously keep re-rolling, rolling, rolling, and keep re-rolling, rolling, rolling, and hope that I get something that will tangibly help with uh, with this. But no, no, not indeed. So we're gonna leave this actually like here. Then that can cover the sort of top half of the room. Then I have like a safety area. For, oh god. No! Oh god, okay, 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 this is fine. Why are they not leaving? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I have no real way out of this horrific situation that I'm in. Because ultimately, I can't see what I mean. Like, Oh, no. Like, 
I can't ever kill the the host. So because it's not killable, I have to essentially defeat it with while everything else is happening and it won't ever go away and I've kind of royally screwed myself out of um, what should have been an easy an easy um oh my god look at this how am I supposed to deal with this? <laughs> They're being exploded into me, and there's nothing. They, what? This is so bullshit! <laughs> oh my god! I forgot that was still there! This is so traumatic! This was supposed to be a huge, impressive. Yeah, we're back! Gonna do a few normal runs, that's great! And it's just been so traumatic! Every single part of it has just been so traumatic! Oh my god! Okay! Alright, I'm gonna stop using the turret now! I think I'm gonna stop using the turret now! It was the synergy side of me, okay? It was the synergy side of me, and I, I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop it. It was too much. And now I'm paying the price. <laughs> now I am paying the price. <laughs> Alright, we'll have a look in the devil deal, just because it shouldn't be too difficult to acquire. Yeah, not really much I can do there, because that one's always just going to appear underneath me, which will obviously kill me, but I can't really move too much because I'm being blanket-shotted by the other one, which is a shame, but... Uh, well, actually, you know, this might be okay. We might get some spirit hearts. Yeah! All right, that's what I like to see. Sweet, sweet survivability. I don't think I double this money, because I need to double the money of an entire floor to make this Yera fully worthwhile, so... Uh, we just we just move on. We just straight up move on with our lives. And look, we even double up and find ourselves a secret room full of more hearts. Yes, full of more hearts. <laughs> so I went to this Halloween party and the theme was zombie survivor. So I decided, apart from the usual, you know, dirty yourself up, rip some clothes, you know, that kind of looking disheveled. I wanted to go a little bit of the extra mile and I wanted to pretend to have like a broken leg. Like I'd really ended up in a bad situation and only just got away and now obviously... Well, I've got a broken leg. So, to that end, I wanted to have, like, a walking stick and a splint. And a splint is just a big, long stick of wood that is bound to your leg in order to keep it straight so it can heal and you don't accidentally use it and bend it. But, obviously, it makes it really difficult to walk properly. Like, really annoyingly difficult because you're basically only using one leg and the other one you're just kind of swinging in arcs around you as you lean on the walking stick and your one air quotes good leg and the thing is because I, I have one broken leg I decided that I needed to go full full old man in order to properly represent this so I was there going I've lost my leg. I've broken my leg back in my day. I would have walked 300 miles to break my leg. And I was just walking along the street as we were walking to the party. The group of uh, three of us basically saying things like that. And we wanted to stop by a shop in order to A, get something for the host of the party. And B, get something for ourselves to have at the party. And <laughs> I completely was... I was just in a good mood. And I was just... I'm doing my, I've broken my leg, <laughs> little act, and I really didn't appreciate just how loud I actually was being, which basically meant as I walked into the shop, I went, don't look at me, I've broken my leg, I've broken my leg. <laughs> And the reason I said that is just before uh, we worked in, one of the people that were with, who was a really good little uh, costume for a zombie survivor, like, he looked really, really impressive. He just <laughs> asked me, what's wrong with your leg? Because he kept asking me about my leg, so I kept being like, I broke my leg. My leg is gone. I've lost my leg. I'm so old, like really obnoxiously loudly. So as I walk into the shop going, I've broken my leg, don't look at my leg. 
And I must have been doing a pretty good job in terms of like the impression because I walk in and there's four separate people just already staring at me as I swing my just plank of wood that I found sellotaped to my leg into it and start wandering around on my walking stick. And the thing is, I can't even turn it off because it is bound like that. I just basically have to walk like that. It's not like an option that I have to just not. So I kind of just, well, <laughs> it, was just, it was just really, really awkward. So I walked in after saying that going, my leg, um, my leg, my leg, I just, uh, Mm, as I'm trying to really rapidly get like behind the aisles where nobody can see me anymore with this awkward walking stick based gate with a plank of fucking wood on my leg. Oh god. I, I don't know what worries me more. The fact that I managed to do that or the fact that I, apparently my, my cries of leg pain were so believable that people actually were looking expecting to see a very injured person walk in with a broken goddamn leg. That just seems really, really unfair to me. Really unfair to me. Like this entire boss fight. Like what the hell? Like there is so many bomb flies on top of the rolling cage. It does, does not seem fair. <laughs> okay, we don't care about the devil deal either. There's just nothing that we could get that makes it worth it. Like absolutely nothing. And I think ironically I am going to die because that's the thing, right? I lose all of my air quotes first runs. No matter what they are first on, I lose them. That's just how it works. I think we do get some health. I, I think we do. We just genuinely need it. Ooh. Ooh. We get the cheap heart. Definitely. Just get a little bit of a boost. Nothing too crazy from that. We'll see if we'll get a little bit more moolah from there. Ooh, we do get a little bit extra from that side. I guess we'll go into... God damn it. Who is packing all of these pots full of spiders? I mean, I guess it's it's one place to store them, but it doesn't seem a very good one. Pupple double X. See, without the epic fetus, this actually would have been a disastrous run because there's been nothing that good. I'm going to get both of these just because they do come with the health. And then, and then one more. I, I know what you might be thinking, right? Stop just using the freaking turret as soon as you get into there, all right? You don't know what might happen or if you'll need it. And that's true, okay? It obviously is true. But at the same time, when you have a turret summoning missiles down upon everyone... Like, come on. You, you almost have a duty to actually use that thing. I, I'm not sure what happened there. I feel like something... Um, went a bit wrong or maybe broke. I wasn't expecting that either. What is it? everything that is spawning? Because in theory, as long as we don't get goddamn hosts, it's just fine because I have so much death raining down that everything should be okay. But it's just not every time. It's just not. Hello, you. See, I don't want to pick up any coins, because I've not forgotten that I have the Yera. It's just the explosions mean that the coins get constantly actually battered into me, and there's not really much I can do about it. Like, look at that. Like, if I want to dodge the damage as well as the coins, it seems like I have to make the choice, and I don't want to have to make the choice. All right, let's get the bosses out as well. Hopefully, we can... Get there, Moolah. It sounds like he instantly died, but there still seems to be another one coming. There we go. All right, now I can Yara because all the money has spawned, which is great. Now it's going to get exploded everywhere, but that's fine. You know, I think I would accept somebody. Oh, that's the game show that we need. Not pretend to be an old man with a broken leg awkwardly in public, and I look really, really disheveled. But no, we need, all right, a a huge pool full of money, somebody throws a hand grenade in it, and you have like 30 seconds to grab what you want to grab. I think I have just cracked the code right there, right? Like, that is it. Oh my god, I really put myself in a less than stellar position there, I think. Let's just, let's just say that. Hearts, please? Ah... Uh just not allowed them. I'm really not. But this is going to be an amazing pill. An amazing pill. Oh, pretty fly is okay. 
It is, it is it, you know, it's all right. Let's see if we can get anything to support. If we could just get, right? If we could just freaking get. We're on the shoal, so we're not really looking at another shot. But I just need some bloody goddamn immunity to explosions. Is it that hard? Divine being, can you descend and promise me immunity to fire and brimstone? And I will throw myself off a roof for your amusement and sing all seven verses of a, a song with seven verses on the way down despite the lack of proper airflow when you're falling at speeds. <laughs> There's just not enough airflow. Alright, let's have a look what we got in here. Infinite bombs! That's been double infinite bombs along with 99 bombs. Okay, let's get some more of that. That's lovely. If we can get the spun transformation, that's pretty fantastic. Nothing too crazy there or drastic. But that's alright, I just need one little extra to make it whole again. And I've got the black hole again, but that's not the hole that I want again. Alright, I... I guess we'll get belly button. I guess we'll get the one up. And then I guess we'll get one of them. Because the thing is, as cool as Epic Fetus is, right? Like, as awesome as it is to get Epic Fetus, it very much limits your run. Which is why, you know, if you got Epic Fetus all the time, I think you would be really sad. Because it's very much, you are just firing missiles now. Unless you get tier bombs and start having your synergies as well as the fact that you're dropping missiles. You're, you're pigeonholed, right? And I'm not saying it's not cool to drop missiles on your enemies. It's definitely cool to drop missiles on your enemies. But eventually, if you can only drop missiles on your enemies, I mean, you might get bored. You've been married to missiles for years. It's only natural you might be finding yourself looking at other tier types, you know? Doesn't mean you're gonna act on it. Stop being so paranoid, bitch! Sorry. Sorry, I just... Just, you, you know how it is. You know, you know how it is. In, in, you know, I mean, you know, you know how it is, right? And I've not been wanting to put two turrets down very deliberately, just because I feel like that would make way too much that I actually have to avoid. Let's get the devil deal all in here as well, as I take huge, massive damage from everything, and looking good. Ooh, well, I don't know what I expected there. I guess we'll see. We can get a random bonus heart. No. I mean, in theory then, if I'm going to look at this, what gives me the best chance of success, it's got to be just by an absolute crap ton of spirit hearts, right? Like, by all but one. In fact, no, just spend all your money on them, and then we'll we'll hope for the best. Oh, yes, that extra five. I didn't even notice. Like, this is the tactical way to go. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is one of my first actual, you know, Isaac runs in a while, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, yeah, guys, I really, really want to do Seed of the Week again. I don't know how many of you still play the game. I know a lot of you just like watching me play and ramble despite not playing it yourself, which is totally cool. I, I, I get that as I ran paint the corners but I would love some seeds and the best way to do that honestly is go and join the community discord in the description it's a lovely place you'll meet loads of people that you'll probably end up being good friends with and there is an Isaac section and just just at me and let me know about it like that's a really nice way to do it it really is okay ultra greed let's see if we can't buggy just a little I mean in theory we should do plenty of damage to him, which is good. We obviously have, I was about to say, we obviously have full health, which is uh, wonderful, but then of course we immediately lost that full health as that has happened. And the thing is, I can't really not use the turret, just because the turret is such a huge DPS increase. And technically speaking, the center of the turret is safe and honestly I kind of like this in that it is quite the challenge like there has been some hairy moments in uh, this run like there is no doubt right there has been some pretty close damn calls and while we're not out of the woods yet the fact that we're actually on greed I mean I think I had some 
alright little place here. I really, really do. I think I got my dodge and weave on at some acceptable levels. And now I'm gonna be careful with everything. Okay. Looking good. Looking absolutely super fly -tastic. Super fly -tastic. I can go with super fly -tastic. I think we can get that in a dictionary. Start it. Start its own trend. Uh, I think that could really take off. Oh god, I did not notice that entire army of zombies approaching me. The one thing that I do have with Epic Vetus is I often find myself in a situation where I don't notice that I have the targeting reticle near me and I end up just blowing myself up. But I really need to start playing like I actually have really low amounts of health and then everything should be a lot better. I mean, it's not long until we're killing him, which is good. And the good thing about the turret up there, and ah, oh, I just moved straight into it, but the good thing about the turret up there is it is obviously just completely handling that side of the room, no matter what turns up there. Come on, Greed. At least aim at me, and then it hits me, and I feel bad for dodging. Don't fire where I'm not, and hope that I dodge into it for you. That just seems super lazy, bro. Okay. I mean, he's obviously a lot squishier in this form, but he's also a lot harder, and I already took half my health to get him to this point. I just... I'm not sure. I am definitely a little bit on the not sure side of things. I kind of need to lure him back to the top, where I can't hear my left ear. Like, I actually... It just occurred to me, I can't hear my left ear, which is probably a problem. I, I think it's like I hear a sudden ringing in my left ear like an mm, just just perpetually going on that did sound like a power lift suddenly going off which I guess isn't that accurate to what's going on but basically it's like somebody just shot a bullet really close to my ear and I'm I'm very concerned about it in fact it's actually kind of freaking me out but I'm also trying to ignore it and just focus on um, the task at hand which is of course killing our friendly neighborhood golden greed here which is a very important thing. We will all be safer once he's dead, because he won't be there to make us dead. Which I think, I think that is the definition of safe, right? Like, you are better off if the thing trying to make you dead stops trying to make you dead because you made it dead. That seems like a fairly good trade-off. I feel like as soon as someone tries to make you dead, they lose all rights of not being dead themselves at your hands. It's, it's kind of just like a, like a understood agreement, I think, between all things that make things dead. Careful, I need to be very careful about where I stand. Oh god, I don't know what I expected there. I need to get him back over in this corner. Because this will mean that he'll take lots of extra damage from the auto turret that is happening. But I also don't know where he is or if he's even taking damage. Oh god, oh god, oh my god, god, I'm gonna get hurt really badly, and he's gonna die, please die, please, oh no, he's dead, he is dead, look, that's the death animation in the background, that is, <laughs> does that count as both, is this a revolutionary, did I just draw in Isaac, like, if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time, oh god, Boy. Rage gaming with the video flow, shenanigans and overwatch And his fans all know that every single thumbnail that this man makes Without fail makes you do a double take Catching your attention with every verse See, say that you need healing but you're at his mercy Get it? Cause it's a pun on his channel, that's one of the better ones. Widow is venomous, I see no end to this. Cataclysm's imminent when rage is in his element. Pandemonium is not familiar with irrelevance. Maximum Genji beam, oh so elegant. Joke so funny causing you to cry. Editing is quality as the noon is high. Yo, concussion man, shoot to the sky. Cap it all off with a goodbye.